Hey there! So we are in week four. We had child's pose, broken table, down dog, and now we are going to be practicing a low lunge. So we'll come over to the side. I'm just going to step my left leg forward. You can decide if you want your right knee to stay on the ground or if you'd like to go ahead and pick that right knee up. We'll have our hands on either side of our front foot. Let me just scoot this way a little bit. Either side of that front foot. You can decide if you want that knee down or if you want to kick it up. So this is where we will be in our low lunge. Now, if you can't get up this high, or rather keep your hands down this low, go ahead. Bring um, your back knee down. You can also decide if you want to bring both hands in to the inside of your foot, if that feels a little more comfortable for you. Okay, so when we're doing this, I really want you to think about lifting that back thigh up as much as you can. So I'm stepping through with one foot, I'm coming up. Instead of drooping down, I want you to think about really extending through. Fingertips, palms, you can have your palm come into the inside. It doesn't really matter that much. We're still getting the stretch through the hip. Now, mind you, I'm trying not to open up. Both my feet are facing forward. I am thinking about tucking my left hip, which is this back hip, forward. Thinking about pulling my heel backward and lifting up through the thigh. So you should be feeling a pretty intense stretch through your hip flexor, which is the front of the hip here, down through the front of the leg, uh, the quad. This move can also, as I mentioned, be done on the knee and the same thing will apply. You're still gonna be pressing your back leg or your back hip forward and then pulling your leg back at the same time. If you're on your knees, just know that if you have any knee problems, you might want to either fold your mat up a couple times so that you have a little cushion in there, or go ahead and find some sort of cushion that you can actually put in there so it's a little bit more comfortable on your knee. So no matter whether you're on your knee or up on your toe, our weight is in our front heel, which means watch my toes in the front, those toes can come up, all right? We're wading through the front heel, and then we're on the tip toes of that back foot if you're up. Otherwise, the top of the foot rests on the floor if your foot is down, all right? So this is your low lunge. Choose which variation works for you. Either one will work in this flow sequence. We're really practicing on opening up the hips here. So this was week four, and next week, for week five, we will be having Twisted Dragonfly, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, this week, good luck practicing low lunge.